what would be really fascinating to do, obviously Herkimer diamond quartz stuff like that happening in these oil reservoirs is probably difficult to find, but take you know some what? of that silica, crush it. When you it start up, looking for it, what happens? We found it in every one. Somewhere in the system we see Herkimer diamond quartzes. Wow. For example, at, in the Permian Basin, we see them up <laughs> in the infamous Pecos diamonds. Oh, man, this is good stuff. Once we start looking for them, they're there. Yeah. So I'm wondering, I'm saying that we, you know, we put in these in the uh, oil sands. We make the man made silica injectites through a hydraulic fracturing process, right? We transfer all this sand into the reservoir through hydraulic fracturing. Look at the sands. Look at which sands you're putting in there and see if you're Nature's putting in telling you what, how to make your uh, frac fluids. <laughs> That's incredible. And, and you need to take those brines, which are considered a, uh, a nuisance, environmental nuisance, and play with them a little bit and then recharge the oil reservoir because you're going yeah. to create new reactions. And you're going to create a, a carbon, a decrease, a negative delta in your carbon footprint. You're going to be more socially responsible, Stan. Oh, quiet. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> the Magma Kim way. Uh, the Troy way, but yeah, that's fine. Of ill light for hydrogen generation. Yeah, so now we're getting to the Muscovite story a little bit, huh? Yeah, same thing. 